if those who don't know me, I'm Bernadette Jones. Um, new welcome to my page. Um, but I saw the shirt the other day, and it said the good die young. And I realized, and I want to share this, guys, share this uh, with you guys. Do you realize how much the devil is trying to kill you, or actually get you to kill you? Um, and what do I mean by that? He knows the power of words. He knows life and death are in the power of the tongue. And yes, we read that in the in the Bible. He knows that. So if he can get you to say things like life is short, the good die young, you're saying this. And the word says you will have what you say. And we say it enough because I know I heard it growing up. Oh, the good die young. And, you know, it just it's something people say. And they say it a lot when someone dies, when something happens. Those are the things that we say and we believe it. And, you know, the word states you have what you say. And so if we're saying that we're going to have what we say, but that's not what the word says. The word says, um, and it's in Psalm 91, I think it's verse 16. Um, the Lord says, I will satisfy you with long life. Long life. That's what the word says. It says that he gives us long life. Not short life or that life is short. Long life. life. Our life is to be long. Our years are to be long. We are promised a long life. And so, but again, Satan knows that. He knows, he knows the word better than most Christians do. So what do you think he's going to try to get us to do? He's going to get us to try and say a oh, life is short. And then what are we going to get? A short life or the good die young so what are we giving him permission to do take people out that are young um and that are good and think about that think think about that phrase the good die young why would satan want the good out of this world why would he want to take out people who are and when i say good i'm not talking about like, oh, they're a good person. I'm talking about good as in um, the righteous. Because who is saying it probably the most? Is us. The light of the world. The one who irritates and disrupts his kingdom. So you think he doesn't want to take us out at a young age if he can? Get rid of the future pastors, the future teachers, the future, future Christian business owners, the future Christian athletes that are going to make a difference and they're going to change things. You don't think he wants to get rid of them as soon as he can? So, you know, when we're seeing that, that's not, that's not God. That's not what his word says. That's not his nature. That's not his character. He says he satisfies us with long life. So we have got to stop saying these popular and these cute phrases because of something that happens. Look, Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy that's it steal kill and destroy jesus came so that we can have life and have it more abundantly he came to give us life so we have life we have long life and we have an abundant life through jesus so we need to stop saying these things and stop saying oh well god just want a little flower in his garden no no. Find me a scripture to back that up. And as believers, we need to start doing that with these, these cute little popular phrases that we hear. No matter who they're coming from. I don't care if it's from a popular preacher. Does it line up with the word of God? Because not all preachers are called. Not everybody who, who is in that position or every church is in existence because of because you know not every day every, nowadays everybody starts a, a church and they call it a church um and it, not a single saint or believer you know in it but um so we can't just believe something because oh well that person is a is a popular preacher and it must be true does it line up with the word if it lines up with the word then it's true if it does not line up with the word it is not true and we need to stop taking everything we hear as truth so we need to stop saying the good die young. We need to stop saying life is short. Life is not short. Life is long. We have long life. God gave us long life. He blessed us. Blessed us with long life. 
So we need to stop saying that life is short. We need to stop accepting that life is short. We need to stop accepting all these cute little phrases because Satan is trying to kill you. And he's going to do it by your very own mouth if you let him. So that's why they're so important. So we want to make sure we're watching what we say and that we are not putting an end or cutting our years early because of what we are saying. So like I, said, I just saw that on the shirt and I was like, oh yeah, no. Um, and I just wanted to, wanted to share that with you guys and hopefully encourage and help some of you um, with that with the things that you've been saying you definitely don't like saying you don't want to cut your life short because of the words coming out of your own mouth and that sun is kind of bright um so thank y'all for for watching and i will see you next time